All right, so welcome back to the structural engineering section of the civil FE exam review. Today, we're gonna to be continuing our review with column analysis. Um, and so I have a few practice problems for you all today. Um, and if you've missed any of the previous videos on structural engineering or just in general, um, such as you know your mathematics, ethics, engineering economics, or any of these topics, make sure you go back and check those out. You don't want to be skipping sections, subsections. You want to make sure that you have knowledge of all of the material that's going to be on your exam. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so number one says, determine the, criti determine the critical, um, and I had this loaded wrong, but determine the critical buckling load for a slender steel column that is pinned, pinned with a unbraced length of four meters and a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals. Moment of inertia is 0 0.00002 two meters to the fourth. So a lot of zeros. All right. So what information are we given? Well, we're given the unbraced length we are given the modulus of elasticity. We're given the moment of inertia. It says it's pinned. Don't know if this is important, but it's pinned, pinned. That, and it's a steel column. Um, steel column. So it says, find the, uh, determine the critical buckling load. Okay. So we're trying to find the critical buckling load. All right. So I'm going to say critical. going to search critical buckling going to search critical buckling. Okay. And so when I do that, come to this section. And so this is the critical buckling stress, but the critical load for a long column subject to buckling is you would use this formula. Okay. So, uh, based on this formula, we got PCR, which is the critical buckling load, right? What's pi? Well, we know what pi is. What's E? E would stand for modulus of elasticity. I is moment of inertia. And then K, what's K? It's the effective length factor to account for N supports. And so the theoretical effective length factors for columns include, okay, you got a pin pinned, fix fixed, fix pinned, and fix free. Which one will, are we using? Well, we got pin pin. So K equals one, right? All right, what about, what's this little L symbol? Okay, L is the unbraced column length. Well, our unbraced column length is four, right? So it looks like we have all the information that we need. What I'll do is I'll just write this out again. Um, so we'll say the formula needed is PCR is equal to pi squared EI over KL and then squared. Okay, so E is equal to 200 GPA. 
typically you want to get all units in meters um or newtons so i'm going to get all my units in meters and newtons and then at the end when i get my answer then i'll just convert it to whatever the unit is so it'd be in kilonewton so i need to get this in meters and newtons so 200 gigapascals it's the same as saying um I would multiply this by one times 10 to the ninth to the nine power. And so um, one gigapascal equals one Pascal. And then I know, and how did I know that a gigapascal is times 10 to the nine? Well, I would go to my Unit conversions, if you didn't know this, right? If you, if you can remember, then you're good, right? Okay, giga. Giga. Let me see this. All right, giga down here is a G, and it's times 10 to the 9. It's multiple is 10 to the 9th. All right. Now, how many Newtons are in a Pascal? Let's try to go back to where I was. All right, how many Newtons are in a Pascal? One Pascal is equal to one. Okay, I'm seeing this. All right, let's try. All right, one Pascal is equal to one newton over meter squared so one pascal is equal to one newton over meter squared so just something to keep in mind so typically i will just leave it in pascals but i at the same time if i ever need to flip it to newtons over meter squared i can so um just something to to think about, but typically you want all your units in newtons um, or uh, meters. Okay, so now we just uh, we got e i is equal to uh, zero point one two three four. Is that four zeros? Zero, 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 two meters to the fourth. All right, K is equal to one. Where did I get K is equal to one? Well, it's pinned, pinned, all right? Uh, we had critical buckling. Going back to our formula so you can, you can see, all right? So K is equal to one for pinned, pinned, all right? L is equal to the unbraced length, which is four meters. That's what we're given, all right? That's why I'm getting you to write out your givens because from this information, you'll know what you can, what variables you're looking for. So this is all equal to, let's plug and chug pi squared times let's say 200 times 10 to the ninth newtons over meter squared okay times 0 0.00002 meters to the fourth Okay, and then all over K, so just one times, what's my L, four squared. 
and I'm going to write out the unit so you're not confused for meters square. All of this is in parentheses square. All right. So I'll get uh, my answer to be 2,467 kilonewtons. Or B. Hey, everybody. I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley, and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing. Or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks. And we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income more impact and furthering your career so it's definitely costing you um, money resources everything so looking to create more success stories um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one -on -one. I want to hop on zoom with you I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so i can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind now for some of you you may have failed a test once twice had some people fail five times um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just want to make sure that you pass it up front so do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this. I got it all on my own. I know everything or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. 
If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video.